Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make my paste, and uh, that's going to be my marinade for my meat. So I'm going to add a take a teaspoon of mustard mustard powder. I also have about five or six red peppers in there. Uh, I took the seeds out so they're not too hot. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of turmeric. And I'm going to add some cumin here. It has a little bit of a mixture of coriander also. And that's going to be a full teaspoon of cumin coriander. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of my red chili powder. This is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit hotter than the chili powders that I have there. So that way I can control the heat by a powder versus the actual peppers itself. Um, so I have a little bit of cumin here too. I'm going to take a quarter teaspoon of cumin because my coriander had a little bit of cumin mix in there also. Just a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Half of teaspoon here of jarum masala. Gonna get a half a teaspoon of cloves. Now let's add some ginger and garlic paste to this. I'm gonna go with a full tablespoon of my ginger and garlic paste. And the last couple of things here, I'm gonna add a quarter inch of a cinnamon cinnamon stick a three quarters of a cup of like a coconut milk um, that will work really well and then a tablespoon of sugar half a cup of apple cider vinegar okay now I'm gonna blend this up Okay, and now I'm going to add my mixture here, my paste, to my cube venison. And I am going to let this marinate for at least 30 minutes. The longer, the better. So I've heated some oil in a pan. Um, I'm using a cast iron skillet here because it's going to retain most heat around the edge to sear just like I need it to. Um, so I have some onions here and I'm going to um, I'm going to basically sweat those and then caramelize them um, to the best I can. I'll drop one in there, see how hot the grease is, and then go ahead and get those going. I'm going to take a a ladle that has a strainer in the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna strain off my, my meat and fry that now. So I'm just gonna strain off the extra fluid and then put it right towards the center where it makes most of the heat going to be. Now, a little bit later on, we're gonna add this, this extra marinade right to the right to the meat so at this moment we just want the, the meat in there so we want to make sure that all the meat is out that way I'm not adding raw meat later on now we're going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes just to get the excess fluid off and it's been going about 10 or 15 now I can go ahead and cover it right now. I'm gonna add some potatoes. So I'm gonna make a little pool here and put my potatoes in the middle. And once those start to cook down, go ahead and add in the rest of my, my sauce here that I use my marinade. Look at 
that gravy. That is starting to look really good. And the word vindaloo in Indian, aloo meaning potato, um, doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have potatoes in it, but you, but you can. Um, it was a Portuguese dish um, that started in going um, with the Indians. So. so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and cover this lightly. I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge up so it doesn't fill up with fluid, but less a little bit of steam. There we go. going to let it simmer on a low heat. Alright, now that it's reduced down and it's been cooking for some time, the last step I'm going to throw in some peas.